Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Well, the time has come for the updated monthly wrap up tier list. So we're not going to be just talking about the 2023 new releases. We're just going to be talking about just everything that I watched within that particular month, new and old. I will have a timestamp down below if you just want to hear about the new releases. Uh, that way you guys kind of know where that begins at. And you know, in case you're just like, I don't care about nothing old, none of your feel good movies. That's totally fine. If you just want to get over to the new stuff, then um, you'll have that timestamp down below. Well, let me put on my good set of eyeballs. Well, because I am going to be talking about movies that are like some of my all-time favorites, just comfy movies or whatnot, I am changing up my tier list. So here is a new updated tier list. I'm still kind of playing around with it. So let's just kind of go through like the new kind of tier names really quick. So we have all-time favorite, so just generally all-time favorite movies, of course. And this is going to be kind of like slash with favorite of the year. So if I ever have a favorite of the year that particular month, we'll kind of slash it with that. So that way I don't add like a whole other tier with it. So it's kind of like a two for one. We're keeping awesome. And I ended up adding love it. So this is just a movie that I just really, really love. You might not love it. You might think it's the worst movie ever. You're like Stephanie, really? But I don't care because I love it. Okay. And then we're keeping great and we ended up adding a uh, feel good. So it's kind of like a feel good, comfy movie. It's just another one that I feel that the title is self-explanatory. I don't really feel like I need to d dive deep into what that is, right? I think you get a feel good comfort movie, right? Uh, we're keeping okay, we're keeping you tried, and we're keeping bad. This is the new tier list right here. So these are going to be kind of like rapid reviews because yeah, I know I can talk. And I'm really trying to keep these as short as I possibly can. But then again, as you can tell here, there's a lot of movies. I saw a lot of movies this month. I was just like, wait, hold up. What? Yes, who's on break? You are on break. So you enjoy these movies, okay? So we're going to keep going. We're just going to go, okay? So we're starting off with No Escape. And this one came out about like mid-2000s, I think it was. And this stars Owen Wilson, like Bell and Pierce Bronson kind of has a small little row in it. And basically it's about Owen Wilson, like Bell, like their family, it's they're married, they have two daughters. He gets transferred to like Southeast Asia for some kind of like water company that he made something going, I don't know. But the hotel that he ends up staying at gets overrun by like rogue people i don't remember exactly how that goes but basically they're just trying to get out because they're trying to kill him because they're part of like the whole water thing and you know like they're messing up with their own situations uh so they're trying to get him his family so they're basically just trying to escape and get to uh the embassy if they can and just find a sanctuary basically for the family uh it's, it's a lot of running around is it a great movie no it, it when i logged it on letterbox i did see a lot of like really low rated stars it's a movie that i really like and oh i guess you don't love it like it i'm gonna put that together uh because it's not like a feel good movie because it's just like oh my goodness i spent a minute since i watched it i just kind of like popped into my head one day and i'm just like oh you know what like, i haven't seen that movie in a long time then we're moving on when i took my christmas decorations down monsters versus aliens i know it has nothing to do with christmas has something to do, but this is the one that i had like basically on the background it's just another <sighs> i'm just gonna tell you it's a feel good movie for me okay that's where it's at of course bob is my favorite that's who's voiced by seth rogan and it's just a monster versus aliens i don't know you guys i like it it's a feel good movie i enjoyed it while i was taking down my christmas decorations because i was saddened by doing that so this kind of like evened out my mood a little bit then i rewatched glass onion a night out story actually while i was taking down my christmas decorations i saw two movies I had a lot of stuff to take, to, to take down, y'all. I feel like with the second rewatch, or second rewatch rather, because again, it was like mostly in the background, I, I think I enjoyed it a little bit more. I mean, I didn't have a problem with it the first time. I couldn't even remember where I put it on when I first saw it. So you guys can go back to that one. I can't remember if I reviewed this movie or not, to be honest with you. Did I review it? I think I just talked about it in my monthly wrap up. And I think I talked about it in the November because I saw it in theaters and it had a theatrical release first and then it came out on Netflix. I prefer Knives Out, the first one, but it's still a really, really good movie. Uh, so I'm gonna actually put it under great. And I think last time I think I had it maybe like under enjoyable, so it did definitely go up. Uh, then we're gonna keep moving on to Nick and Norris If It In Playlist, Kat Dinning, Michael Sarah. Side note, I don't know what it is about Michael Sarah, y'all. 
he is so dang hot for me he's like my nerdy boyfriend like i will be all up on that right there and this is just another really really good like feel good movie for me like a comfort movie and then just like i haven't seen this movie in a long time i love to watch the full circle like story of the nasty ass gum i mean that gum went through some journeys y'all and it came right back to the original owner there at the end but they're just trying to find fluffy and they're going through this whole like new york right like i would love to have lived in new york for like maybe just a year just to kind of expi i mean not anymore but like in my 20s i would have looked to like been over there and they just don't make them like that anymore and hey, look it just makes me smile like i'm just thinking it's a real good feel good movie but we're gonna we're gonna keep moving forward because again we're, we're not doing full-on reviews we're just like going through these okay then we got the Italian job. Now this is another movie that I actually really, really love. I really, it's like before Fast and the Furious, y'all. So basically here, it's a group of thieves. They went, they was like Italy. They stole some gold. Edward Norton's also in here. Oh, he was in Knives Out also. And he's a bad, you can never trust Edward Norton, can you? Anywho, backstabbing them, kill Charlize's daddy. He took off with the gold, left him for dead. So guess what? This team is all like, oh hell no, I'm about to get this gold back. So now it's like trying to like come up with a plan with some like mini coopers. And we're gonna go in there, we're gonna re-steal this gold. Cause you know what? We stole it for well, we kinda stole it together and then you like back that. So we we gotta get our gold back, basically, kind of deal. Um, and it's like a fun little journey. I really, really like it a lot. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna keep moving on. Spider-Man, No Way Home. Y'all already know how I feel about this movie. Okay, maybe you don't because you're new. But that that that's an all-time favorite. That is an all-time favorite. That was like one of my favorite movies of that year. <sighs> it's like cry. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched it. The movie's been out for quite a minute. I love that we got all the Spider-Mans back into the multiverse. So freaking awesome. I have a review on it, so again, we're not gonna talk about it, but I love it. It's so, so good. Uh, then we're gonna move on to Captain Phillips. I'm the captain now based on a true story. Tom Hanks, he's like the captain. He's Captain Phillips, obviously. He's going through the Somalian, I was about to say the Somalian desert, not the desert, a little sea, and the pirates, they jump on board. Ooh, they're about to kill you. Ooh, no, they're not trying to kill them. Okay, they're trying to rob them. All time favorite, it's like one of my favorite, like all time favorite movies. I don't know, like top. 100 movies maybe i don't know let me know if you have one like a top 100 movie like video i've never done one of those but i feel like this might be up there maybe i think so i think so i don't know i have to like really think about it let me know if you're interested in something like that because i kind of hmm i would be interested in doing it myself just to kind of i'm always seeing all-time favorite and i'm like where exactly would you fall so then we're going to move on to scream 2022 version of scream we know we get all the legacy back we get Dewey, that still hurts. Oh, Dewey. Um, love, love the movie. Of course, now that you know who the killer is, you try to keep your eyes out and you're trying to find the clues. And then, like, when they met at, they met at the um, hospital, right? That, like, hmm, like, little smirk. I said, I see it. I see, you know. You know him. I'm very excited for Scream the Five, right? One's coming out this year. So excited. That's like one of my anticipated movies of the year. Scream is like one of my favorite like franchise. I just, I love slasher movies. You already know I don't like scary movies, but like it's not a scary movie. It's like a slasher movie. Boy, it is. It's not like it's a slasher movie. Okay. I think I ended up moving it up from when I did my like honorable mentions. Cause then like I rewatched it and I was like, I don't know why I moved you down so far. Like I was so ashamed that I did that. But yeah, I ended up moving it back up. So it's number 13. And I think like when I did my list, I had it like at number 17. Cause like when I did my honorable mentions on TikTok, um, you can check it out on TikTok. I've been doing more videos on TikTok, especially since I haven't been doing videos here. Just kind of like quicker things on there. So you can check me out there. Then we're moving on to uh, the hating game. And it took me a hot minute to watch this movie. It really, really did. The hating game book was part of like our book club book. I can't remember when it was. And I wasn't really a fan of the book too much, to be honest with you. It was just like, oh, oh. I, I, I don't recommend the book, to be honest. I don't recommend the movie either. <laughs> uh, but they did do a pretty decent job. Like, kind of the adaptation didn't change too much up. Uh, but I just feel like they didn't do, like, a full-on chemistry test between these two actors. Because I really didn't feel, like, the chemistry between them. That was just, like, 
an okay book. It, it was okay book and okay movie. Okay, we're moving on to the change up. We got Ryan Reynolds. We have Jason Bateman. Love both of them. Jason Bateman. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I love his humor. And this movie to me is just so funny. Like, I was shocked when I logged on Letterboxd how, like, low, like, ratings it have. I was like, really? I, I love it. I really, really do. I think it's just so funny. They basically win each other's lives. They go in the piano fountain. They're like, I wish I had your life. Boom, magical stuff happens. Now they're in each other's bodies. And they're like, oh shit, like what are we gonna do? And so they're kind of like living each other's lives, right? And it's like, well, I don't know if I really wanna be or not. We're going on to The Menu, which is one of my favorite movies of 2022. Love the movie. It came out on HBO Max. I was like, I need to rewatch it. And I'm like, yes, yes. I love you. I still love you. It's a great, great movie. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it. We just talked about it last month, I think it was. No, because when, when, when I did my favorites of the year, we're gonna say it's an awesome movie. I wouldn't classify it as an all time like favorite. And then we got John Wick, Sir John Wick. Like, let me tell you, when I first saw about, heard about this movie, I was just like, so he gets revenge for a dog. Okay, mind you, I love dogs. Okay, like dogs, yes, like I am full on a dog person. But the whole concept of him kind of going like crazy and like revengeful for a dog it just i wasn't like i wasn't here with it so when it came on theaters or whatever i was like no part two came out and i was just like we're continuing with this whole dog situation like i don't know people kept telling me they're like no it's really really good i think it was a, around part two i think when i started getting like even more like i think part one if i recall correctly i didn't hear like too too much but i think once part two came out is when more like popularity and more stuff I could be mistaken, I just probably wasn't hanging around the people that loved it from the beginning. I mean, obviously it was still a good movie because they, they got me to part two. But Keanu Reeves comes on it, y'all. And we're up to part three, part four should be coming out this year, I believe. Looking forward to it. One of my one of my anticipated movies. I, I said believe, and then I'm like, it's one of my anticipated movies. Regardless, if it does or doesn't come out this year, just know it's an anticipated movie for that year. Even though Parabellum, I'm not gonna lie, I really wasn't a fan of that one. Like, I was just like, uh no part one part two love it okay so this is just like uh an awesome movie then we got percy jackson of the lightning thief i actually just saw this movie yesterday and it's such a good movie also i really really enjoy it i didn't really like part two this one is just another one that's just like a really good like feel good movie like the whole time that i'm watching it I was just like, oh, it's just, I, I love it. It's just like a mythical kind of deal. We're dealing with the children of like Zeus and Poseidon and um, Athena, just like all that. So it's like very like mythical kind of deal. We got like satyrs, we got the lotus flower, we got Irma Thurman, she's Medusa, she's pretty cool. Uh, we got, uh, what's it called, centaurs. And then we got Argentina 1985. This is based off of a true story and I ended up watching this movie. This was not on my radar, but it is um, nominated for an Oscar. So I was like, let me check it out. This was an okay movie for me. I honestly wasn't totally there for it. It's a little bit, I don't know. Like I just, I, mean, I don't mind like political movies or anything like that, of course. But this one, I don't know. There was something about it that I couldn't quite like, like sink my teeth into it i did try to watch it in english like the sub english but i just i can't do that i i don't like it you know sometimes i have to do it but if uh i mean i don't have to because i could just like read it but sometimes i'm just lazy and i don't want to read it and i'm like oh fine i'll just do this anywho then we went on to netflix all quite on the western front also based on a true story for the world war one um war this one nominated best picture uh argentina international film uh, All Quiet on the Western Front is a Best Picture nominee, one of the 10 Best Picture ones. I still need four other movies to watch. And then once I do that, we'll rank my Best Picture nominees. <sighs> I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I love war movies. Hawkshaw Ridge would be in that top 100. Uh, 1917 probably would be in, that, in the top 100 too. Love 1917. Y'all, I'm getting so comfortable. Y'all, I have my feet up here and everything. Anywho great movies okay this one looks beautiful it has, it's nominated for a lot of oscars also this one looks really really nice um it's in german i think it is and when you put it on there it automatically gives you like the subbing and i tried to do like the to, to read but then i 
got lazy, <laughs> so I went back to to it. I was like it's it's fine, but the subby wasn't too bad. Uh, it, 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 I I've seen worse, uh, but this was pa uh, passable. So I I don't really know how I feel about this <laughs> because it was like parts that I'm like okay, like I like you, but then it's just like I don't know. But then there at the end, it was just like, oh my god. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm gonna put it midway. I'm gonna say it's a pretty great movie. And I'm gonna say it's a pretty great movie that I don't think I would rewatch. But I do recommend to check it out. And we're basically following, um, I don't remember their names, y'all. But the guy that's on this poster right here, kind of his journey through the war, and kind of just like everybody, like at the beginning, of course, it was the First World War, they really didn't know what they were getting into. These kids, you know, they were signing up to go. He faked his signature to be able to join the, the, the military. And they're like thinking, oh, war, golly, yes, we're going to serve. And then they get there and they're like, this is not what I was expecting. And then it kind of goes like bad from there on, right? Like there's just like so many deaths. Obviously, it's war. And you're just like, oh my god, like, are you gonna make it? Are you not gonna make it? Like, what's gonna happen? And then it's like the senseless war, like, what are we doing here? And they're just kind of like trying to like with, go with your lives. And then once like the war's kind of coming toward it, because we do go towards like the end of the war and the whole agreement and like them surrendering and everything. And it kind of goes like, well, what are we gonna do once we get home? Like, I don't, like, we've done, we've seen so many things. And then you see like all the people that they've killed and the way it's affected them. And it's like, so we're just supposed to get back, you know, like whole PTSD kind of deal. So it's actually a really, really good movie, y'all. But it's just one I don't, I don't really plan to rewatch. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. So now we're getting into 2023 territory, y'all. If you skip forward, you're in the right spot. 2023. Uh, first movie that I watched was Plane. Uh, Gerald Butler, when I saw this trailer, I said, oh my god, like, I think I'm gonna like you. I really do think I'm gonna like you. And Gerald Butler, he is a pilot. And he ends up crash landing into this um, island, you know, uh, they got struck by lightning, in case you're wondering what kind of happened, got struck by lightning, had to do crash landing, they don't know where they're at because like they got struck by lightning and it fried everything up. And so now they're like in this hostile like island that no military, I think it's like around like the Thailand kind of situation over there. I think I remember here in Thailand. Could be, could be mistaken, I don't know. Uh, nobody wants to go there, it's basically like, there's no military, there's no police, there's nothing there because it's like all the rogue people that are just there handling all the stuff. And so they're just basically trying to figure out like how can we, how can we get out of this island? Can we fix the plane? situation happened hostages and then here comes Gerald Butler to the rescue but I'm not gonna lie his character from when I saw the trailer who Gerald Butler obviously is it's not exactly what I was thinking because I thought oh he's gonna have some sort of military training as does a Gerald Butler has in a Gerald Butler movie like this right but no he doesn't okay uh, I don't know where that accent came from I wish he did have some sort of like military background, but he doesn't. But either way, it goes for the first movie, 2023. It actually was a pretty good movie. Um, I'm gonna put it under, I'm gonna put it under great, slash good. <laughs> I know, I'm like slashing all of these up. So then we're moving on to Amazon Prime. Uh, we have um, Shotgun Wedding. This stars Josh Jamel, Jennifer Lopez. And this is another one that's been getting a lot of hate. Now, if y'all recall Marry Me last year, I did not like that movie. Oh my gosh. That's what Jennifer Lopez, Owen Wilson, I was like, nope. I really, really like this movie a lot. I'm, I, I'm gonna say I loved it. I loved it. I laughed so much. I don't know if it's because I was at work and I was just laughing so much. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. But I really enjoyed it, okay? Um, it just gave me all like the cheesy like 2000s rom-com like action movie -dee, movie -dee, movie <sighs> Anywho, whatever we have a Stephanie dictionary that's gonna be starting in 2023 and that's a word that's going in there, okay? It just gives you all those vibes. It's a good time. Like is it a great movie? No! Does it have flaws? Yes! Will you have fun? Yes! if you allow yourself to have fun with it. I mean, if you're obviously somebody who does not like 
romantic comedies, who does not like cheesy movies, or you're just somebody who just doesn't like Jennifer Lopez as an actress or just Jennifer Lopez at all, then why would you watch this movie to start off with? Just so you can like hate on the movie? Like, why would you even put yourself through those situations? It's all I'm saying, okay? So, I really liked it. I had a lot of fun with it. I had my mom watch it over the weekend, and she really enjoyed it as well. Uh, but, yes, it's not getting the, the greatest reviews. Uh, my battery's watching right now. Yeah, hold on. So, moving on to Netflix, we have You People. This stars Eddie Murphy, Jonah Hill, uh, Lauren London, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, and Leah Long. Of course, we have the whole, like, racial kind of deal happening. Like, you know, white people, black people, and, like, different cultures. And, like, you shouldn't be with them. And it kind of goes into that whole little, like, deal there. It has some pretty funny moments in it. I feel like it could have been way better, but I feel like some of the writing might have been a little bit too lazy, you know? Some of the jokes definitely could have landed a little bit better. Uh, love me some Eddie Murphy, love Jonah Hill. And it was a really, not a really, it was it was a good movie, but not like a really, really good movie. Um, so I'm gonna say it was, um, I'm gonna say it's a pretty, okay movie it was a pretty okay movie I feel like it definitely could have been a lot better than what it was and I feel like now that I've had a couple days to kind of think about it I'm not loving it as much as I feel like I did we're gonna move on to the last movie which is another theatrical experience and this is Missing this stars Storm Reed, Nia Long again, Megan Suri, Ken Loon this is like the unofficial sequel to Searching, which I haven't seen, uh, but I do want to watch it now that I saw this one. It all takes place, everything like FaceTime, WhatsApp, webcam. I said FaceTime already, yeah. Uh, Googling, so uh, let me just say something, y'all. <clears throat> For people that know me, never ever count on me because I'm never going to find you. I ain't got no damn set of skills, no hacking skills, no searching skills. I will never, ever find you. <laughs> trying to find the mama who ended up going missing in Colombia is that where they went I think they went to Colombia and the daughter's trying to search her and do everything you know from her kind of like LA home but like googling and searching and google mapping it and I'm just like do you like click 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 over here opening windows and I'm just like wait hold on how do you spell that again the movie was it was a pretty great movie. It was a pretty great movie. I would rewatch it. Definitely recommend it. Um, I would have given it a medium popcorn if I had reviewed it. But yeah, these are all the movies that I watched in the month of January, new and old. Let me know what y'all think about this new format. Do y'all want me to just go back to the 2023 like new releases as I was doing before? I just thought it would be something like new and different. And maybe you guys would enjoy it so you guys can maybe get like different recommendations on like other movies um whether you've seen them or not uh, but yeah this is just kind of how my list is going now let me know down below though what did you guys watch did we watch any of the same things as far as 2023 releases do you agree do you disagree if you disagree that's totally fine everyone let's just be nice in the comment section of course before you guys click out if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!